Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Auburn Tigers. Number 13 is one of the X factors of this basketball club who can lead them to a win tonight. He can defend and he can score. He can give you both of those things on any given night. That's why he's a terrific player. The Tigers will have quite a challenge on their hands trying to keep him in check. The Tigers are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for? Them? And they've got to do simple things out there, and they should be okay. First, challenge every shot from the perimeter. Get right up in their faces, baby. Secondly, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Well, that stat at the end could be a big one. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. spot defensively in the post but he got the steal wow i could have made that steal he telegraphed that he was the marconi guy what a poor pass he shoots from right of the circle outside three got it showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Fast break opportunity here. The shooting guard takes the feed. Taken away. These teams, Dick, remind me of Loyola Marymount back in the 90s, running and gunning. Man, I can't see how either team can maintain this pace and remain productive at the same time. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. And the jam. Feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The shooting guard takes the pass. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, nothing to down with ease, Brad. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Foul charge. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. is fired up right now emotionally. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Top of the circle. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Well, some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. it in. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Dumas draws the personal. Goes to the line. He got it. Trying to feed inside. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. 
The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Great anticipation defensively. For the bucket, easy one. That's an 11 0 run. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. They look to get it to the inside. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Trying to go inside. The frustration right there. They get it out into transition. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. Little run at the moment. Hey, that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. The ball goes out of play. Got a man in high post. Number 21 gets the pass. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. In the paint. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. With a deep shot from outside. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. Puts it up, looking for contact. Both teams looking to get things going here. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. On the outside, gave it up for two, in and out. Hey, as a coach, you really like to see your kids get up and challenge shots like that. A lot of times, a challenge is enough to make the offensive player change their shot in the air. Goes up for two, doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Jumps in. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Gave it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dude. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. player flashing leaning in trying to draw contact
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Working it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Nice shot. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. It's good. The shooting guard with the ball. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Turns it over. This should be an easy bucket. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. There's the trap. Get that sucker out of the game, man. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. The power forward gets the ball. Hard foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He is going to the line. First shot is good. on that free throw line and that's major time to pick up the defense here now Dickey's working on that low block and that right hip I'll tell you one thing he's trying to drive the ball initially but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the wall City, baby, that's a rim rocker. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Number three makes the shot. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating. With a great block. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, the bench seems pretty confused down here. There is a lot of encouragement from his teammates, but they haven't found a way to get him going. And in order to hold on to this lead, they need to find a way and fast. it up he looks for the bomb way off target now they'll bring it up high post screen tries for two great play to take that to the basket look at that student body they are going mad isn't it great Brad picked out of the air Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Launches away. 
Auburn are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He wants a three. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Robs him of the ball. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Oh, what a strip, Red. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. That's a 7 nothing run. On the top of the key. Great shot. <laughs> Looks at a three. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. He blocks the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And the ball goes out of bounds. off the lazy pass. Shoots. That was nice. Picks off the pass. Full court pass. He takes a three. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He attempts the three. He drains it. That's an 11 zip run. about ready for play to resume. They work it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hit. I'll tell you one thing, Trent and I the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. They'll work it around the arc for two. He used the screen perfectly to put it in the inside hoop. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Double team now, bad angle. The center takes the pass in the paint. Fakes it. Ten seconds on the clock. 
And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from the elbow. Oh, yes. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries to knock down the three. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Steals the ball. Well, he puts pressure on a defense. What a great point guard. I love point guards that can really attack the defense. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He launches the bomb. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Goes up for two. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Defense giving some room. Tries one from three-point land. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. The player's got a much-needed breather with that timeout. He puts up the three ball. Sinks the shot. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're anticipating, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. There's a high screen. Perfectly executed. Take that to the basket. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. it out there he is strips the ball loose for two great play to take that to the basket They're working around the perimeter takes away the pass they work the perimeter there's the pick. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. And 
him in the low block, but opted against it. Goes up for two. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. The ball goes out of play. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Razorbacks are up by 21. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Turned the ball over quite a few times in that first half, Dick. The heads just aren't in the game. Some of the turnovers were unforced and plain silly, if you ask me. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? I think you ought to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. He fakes the shot. For the bucket. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unblock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Trying to get that ball movement, get that good space in. The fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. And the top of the key goes in. <laughs> top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Doesn't go. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> On the outside. For two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Gave it up. Shoots from outside. Knocks it down. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The defense is really commanding the tempo. Hey, they're keeping them out of sync. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter with a bucket. Perfectly executed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. 
Good defensive stance there and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Good fake. He fouled him. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. He hits it. The Razorbacks are ahead by 22. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. What's even more important, they'll have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries a three. Drains it. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits the shot. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Good athletic move. Very athletic. Great athletic Jumped in front to take it away. Sets the screen for his teammate. It was a good thing. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Gets it. That's a 7-0 run. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That gets the rejection. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Mr. Vitale, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. He tries for two. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Lobs it inside. The basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed him, baby. He has one. Gets that one. Gave it up. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Steals a pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Sinks it. Here's a double team. 
stolen away. Got a nice screen. Number three steals the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it through about a second earlier. And a slam. Great defense. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Moving it around the perimeter. Did a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. There's the trap. He looks at the hoop. Now the kick out. Double team now, bad angle. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Dump it inside. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, trying to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. He goes with a jump hook and off the mark. Looking for contact. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For the bucket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, during practice, he shared with me he puts so much pressure on himself. He knows he needs to lead his team in many statistical categories in order to get his teammates rolling. We'll continue to monitor his performance throughout the rest of the way. Thanks, Aaron. Got some room. He shoots from the top of the circle. Well, shows his range. Intercepted. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. With the fake. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Robs him of the ball. Fast break possibility coming. Auburn are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Looking for a good shot. For two. Nice job of using it to get open for that good shot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Transition opportunity coming up. 
Trying to draw some contact. The Tigers are behind by 11. Picks off the lazy pass. On the outside. Fires away. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good look. And has it rejected. Spence did a great job with the block shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Here's a flash from the high post. Trying to pack it inside. He puts it in with contact and all. The Tigers are trailing by 10. He unloads, makes it. Trying to draw the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Free pass in the paint. Up, oh, easy one. Steals the pass. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Takes the feed. There they come with a double team to stop it. Pull up jumper from way out. Rims out. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. that basketball try to come up with a steal and they do takes the pass in the paint number 51 is whistled for the defensive foul third team foul they're feeling good the momentum is on their side and everything is falling into place their body language dick says it all hey can you blame them Brad? they're playing well first shot is good from the top of the key. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got it, Brad. Picked off. For the deuce. Basket falls despite the contact. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Finger roll. Two and miss. Counts 
getting high. Ho receives the ball. There's a double team waiting there. He lets it go. Good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Got the high pick. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. He shoots from downtown. They let him get into a rhythm. They work it around the perimeter. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Looks at the three. He drains it. Pressure on the ball. Head on the ball. He's got some room for the deuce. He shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. The small forward takes the pass. You bet. Get back to the action. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Something's gotten into this young man. He's really energized at the moment. Gave it up. comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. The point guard with the ball. Gave it up. The power forward handles the feed. The ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Eight on the shot clock. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. 
He steps up to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Misses the second shot. Timeout's called. And the coach wants to talk about how they're going to overcome this big deficit. Interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Seven seconds to get it off. That's basic. Has a nice look at the basket from way outside. Shot clock is dead. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Second one is good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He unloads. Off the rim and no good. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And we'll go to the free throw line. He makes the front end of the one and one. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Just like in practice. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. With great anticipation for the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. There's the turnover situation for the half, Dick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end Drops significantly. York commits his last personal. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Good teams will get to the line with him, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Second shot, good. They really need a score here to have a chance. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Thanks, Aaron. We get ready to bounce back into action here. Launches the bomb. Nope. Pushes it up. Dick, you look back at our final focus player update of the ball game, and it's probably not what he was expecting tonight. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Auburn couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. I don't think anyone expected him to pull out a win tonight. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.